Hapalotes. Give no praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. Shalom, amen, and peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I fear less by any means as a serpent. In fact, let me start. 1. Would to the Most High, you could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Hamashiach. Right, so who's this talking about? He's talking about the elect. Right, because we're supposed to be as a bride. You know, and what does chast mean? You know, clean, pure. That's where you get the idea of, that's where you get the word cast, which would then be you know, applied to, for example, a caste system, you know, which is, for example, in Hinduism, yeah, you have, I believe it's Hinduism. Anyway, I'm not trying to get too much into that. We have different levels to it. You know, you have the untouchables, and you have different people, you know, ranked on their cleanliness or purity. No, in their doctrine, but cast, chast, like they say, you're you know you're half cast. <laughs> so chast to be pure, to be a pure virgin, untouched, which means you know not being, not having anyone going unto you, you know spiritually, because that's a f a spiritual fornication or adultery. This is wisdom of Solomon fourteen. And verse 12, for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention and the corruption of life. Right, so if we go into another idol, which anything can really become an idol. Now money, money is an idol to some people because they love it. Yeah, the love of money is the root of all evil. Right, and in this chapter it tells you that the idolatry, now I'll read this. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 27, for the worshipping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. Right, so you'll think, well, that's a contradiction. No, it's not, because money becomes an idol for that person. You know? So we're meant to be chast, not a harlot, not a spiritual harlot. This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 1. They say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith Yahweh. Right, so Israel, many lovers, it doesn't mean, you know, the nation of Israel was having many different, you know, because a man is allowed more than one woman, according to the scriptures. If a woman does that, that's called adultery. Right, so many lovers is going into what we just read, that spiritual fornication, many idols. Right, you've got Israel that worshipped the god of the Moabites, the god of the Edomites, the god of the Edomites. So many different idols. Yeah, and some of these nations have multiple idols anyway. Yeah, they have something they deal with. A pantheon. Pan meaning all, theon meaning gods. For example, the Greeks and the Romans are known, well known for that. You know, certain Elamite practices, they do that too. Second Corinthians 11 and 2 For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chest virgin to Hamashiach. But I fear, lest by any means, alright, so it, it could happen anyway, I mean in any manner, but I fear lest by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, right, and we're known as the woman, this, the metaphoric woman, for example, Revelation 12 and 1, who is that woman, clothed with the moon and stars? So lucky I'm butchering that, I think. Revelation 12 and 1, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. All right, so that's Israel. People say it's Mary. Well, Mary did give birth to Yahweh yeah. But Herod was waiting before the whole nation to kill us. To kill the Israelite men. Right, because that's where Hamashiach was coming from. And truly, that's where the seed comes from. Right, you can bring a nation. If you, if all the Israelite women just happened to, poof, get Thanos snapped out of existence, the Israelite men can bring the nation back. Right, they might look a bit different. Verse 3, but I fear lest by any means as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility. Right, so we're that proverbial Eve now. 
And who's the serpent? It's still the same serpent. That serpent, Cain, E, Genesis 25, 25. Right? As the serpent beguiled Eve through subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Hamashiach. So let's look at the sub subtility. Panogia, Panogia. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, pass or pan. It says individually, each, every, any, all, the whole, everyone, all things, everything, collectively. Some of all types, like pantheon, all gods. So what's this pan? Ergon, all business, all employment, that which, that which anyone is occupied. That which one undertakes to do, enterprise, undertaking any product, whatever, anything accomplished by hand, art, industry, mind, and act, deed, thing done. The idea of working it is, em is emphasized in opposition to that which is less than work. Now let's get the compound word itself. Panogia. Craftiness. Cunning. Speci specious. And it says specious. Or false wisdom, so specious or false wisdom, which is no such thing as false wisdom. Not to say everything is wisdom, but this is the book of Sirach 19.22. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. Alright, so though it might be referred, you know, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Well, yeah, you're wise in this world. That's not wisdom. Now let's get into the word for the simplicity. This is what we aim for. Haplotes. Haplotes. The same say it. 572. Haplotes. 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 Singleness, simplicity, sincerity, mental honesty, the virtue of one who is free from pretense and hypocrisy, not self seeking, openness of heart, manifesting itself by generosity. Right, so this is what we aim for. Okay. In a world of cunning, deceit, trickery, you know, subtlety as it says there, we're going for sincerity, you know, simplicity. Verse 4, for if he cometh that preached another Yahushai, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might bear well you might ye might well bear with him. It's the book of Galatians 1 and 8 and 9. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Whereas it's saying that he can make it, that's another gospel. Saying Yahweh Shai is in the image of Caesare Borgia, yeah, that's another gospel. Taking out the bits where it shows our Lord to be an austere man, right? not a lovey dovey, everyone you know, is accepted regardless of their behavior. And that's another gospel. It says, let him be accursed, verse 9. As we said before, so so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. Right, so now, come on brother, let's make a unity camp with all Israel. It says, let him be accursed. Right, so I'll leave it there. Haplotes. Shalom.